Hello, and welcome to the show. My name is Andreas, and I'm your host for tonight. Let's start the show. Our contestant today is an eager achiever named Gregory. Hey guys, I'm very excited. Well, we can definitely see that, Gregory. Good luck for tonight. We have three doors. Two of them contain a horse. And the other one contains the grand prize. But it sounds kind of like a game of luck. It may seem like that to some, but there's actually more behind it. Which door would you like to choose, Gregory? This one, which is a bit of my favourite colour. Before we reveal your door, I would like to open one of the doors that does not contain the grand prize, but a horse instead, just to improve your chances a bit. Oh my goodness. Now, Gregory, would you like to keep to your original decision or change to the other door? When Gregory chose his first door, the chances of him winning the prize was one third. The chances of the other two doors containing the prize was two thirds. When the host opened up one of the doors that did not contain the prize, the chances of the door Gregory originally picked has not changed. But the chances of him getting the prize, if he switches, is still two-thirds. Many people are fooled into thinking that, once one of the doors is eliminated, that the probability between the remaining two doors is now 50-50, but this is incorrect. Suppose you play this game 600 times. About 200 times you will pick the correct door at the start. About 400 times you will not. But the game show host will never open the door with the prize behind it. So each of those 400 times the prize is behind the unopened door that you did not originally pick. So 400 out of 600 times, or two-thirds of the time, you should switch doors. Gregory, would you like to stick to your original choice, or switch with the other remaining door? Well, Mr. Game Show Host, if there's only two doors left, that means there is a chance of 50-50. And that is my favorite color. So I'm going to stick by my original decision. Ah, you had me chance stuff me because your math was wrong. Well, Gregory, it is unfortunate to say, but that was your one chance, and you unfortunately had to choose the horse. Thank you for being part of our show, Gregory. If only Gregory had thought of the maths behind his decision. Oh, poor Gregory. And that's all we have time for tonight, folks. Thank you, and goodbye. <laughs>